names have been swirling around and so on. But like, have you put that together? And the other thing is, like, we often hear about. Do you know, I remember a few years ago they were talking about Tipperary having a separate bus just for the backroom team going to matches. How big of a backroom team do you do you, you know? Do you even do you look at it? You're like, how many do I need to even get here? I know. No, look, it's it, it is. It, it's not going to be a second bus anywhere. So I suppose the least treasurer will be will be will be will be happy with that. But <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, yeah. No, the, the, uh, the Tip had a had a huge backroom team in '19 when they won the All Ireland. As I suppose Limerick and all the all the teams that win the All Irelands are are fairly well documented with the with the amount of uh, expertise that that that's needed nowadays with inter county. Uh, I I suppose. My own, my own situation here in Leash now. Will this will be tight? This will be as uh, tight as we can make it. Uh, as I said, role identification being very, very important, and everybody knowing exactly, I suppose, where we want to go and where we want to bring these players to. Uh, to answer your question, it's not going to be as big as Tip, but uh, look, it's it's going to be a, it's going to be a, it's going to be substantial at the same time because in this arena of Inter County, you know yourself, it's a uh, it's dog eat dog, and you need all the the expertise and help you get. I read an article this morning on Joe Fortune. He was talking about Westmead, and he was uh, again l- l- lamenting the, the the amount of time, effort, and I suppose delegation that you need now as well. So it's something that uh, yeah, look, can't wait to get going, and uh, yeah, there'll be a, there'll be a few names to to be announced soon. And mm, one of those, will I put you on the spot? Will, do I put you on the spot asking you about one of the names? You know where I'm going with this, Willie. Really. I do know where you're going, and uh, yes, he will be on board. But uh, I suppose we, we'll, we'll talk about that in the in, in in the coming weeks. Okay, that's Dan Shannon for anyone out there who doesn't get where I'm going with that. So Shane, uh, he, he, that makes he was, it exciting. Shane, we we were trying not to mention names. We were reading between the lines <laughs> there. You didn't you didn't need to go and like yeah. get plastered. <laughs> but the, the viewers would be very. That's the, that's the bursary. Totally I think he just had to jump in. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All ignorance there. But like you worked with him with Bennett's Bridge as well. He, he obviously got on great. You worked with him at Watford back in was it fourteen? So like, what does he bring? Adan is unbelievable. He's just a really honest, uh, humble, authentic. For more exclusive content, go to patreon.com/forward/slash/our game.